Fairfax Mars, and Meryl Streep has re uh, reared her ugly head again. Meryl Streep pledges to stand up for brown shirts and tirade against Trump. What brown shirts? What are you talking about, woman? Uh, so you're people that are organizing and being paid by George Soros to riot. Meryl Streep, in a fiery speech criticizing President Trump on Saturday night, pledged to stand up against brown shirts and bots at a time when she and others are increasingly denouncing his administration's policies and the President himself. There's Streep in New York City accepting an award from the Human Rights Campaign for the backlash she received after the Golden Globes in January where she gave a speech denouncing Trump. It's terrifying to put the target on your forehead and it sets you up for all sorts of attacks and armies of brown shirts and bots and worse. <laughs> Jesus. And the only way you can do it is to feel you have to, Ms. Treep said. You have to. You don't have an option. You have to. Uh, yeah, you do have an option. You can keep your hole shot and doing your acting. And, you know, make your voice be heard at ballot box. You can do that. It was not immediately clear to whom the Streep was referring to in the loaded term brown shirts, which was originally applied to a pair of military groups that assisted the rise of Adolf Hitler in Nazi Germany. The speech was an even more stinging rebuke of Mr. Trump than Golden Globe's speech, who seems to relish a new type of role, Trump provocateur. Although this time Meryl Streep was without a national television audience. Hallelujah. She took a moment to respond directly to Mr. Trump, who called her overrated in the midst of a barrage of posts on Twitter morning after the Golden Globes. That's, that's about right. Uh, she is quite overrated. And the most overrated, under, over decorated, and uncurrently over berated actress who likes fo the football of my generation, Streep said. And the crowd applauded wildly. Streep was receiving National Ally for a Quality Award, award from the Human Rights Campaign, an advocacy group for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender issues. In the beginning of her acceptance speech, she addressed initially in a light-hearted way one of the most controversial parts of her Golden Globe speech. I do like football, Street said in a roar of laughter from the crowd at Waldorf, Astoria. Golden Globes, Street said, Hollywood is crawling with outsiders and foreigners. We kicked them all out. They had nothing to watch but football and mixed martial arts, which are not the arts. I thought you liked foreigners. She receives a torrent of criticism, particularly from conservatives, for disparaging two sports, something she acknowledged in her last speech and attempted to clarify what she meant. It isn't helpful to make us make it us versus them, Streep said. And this goes on and on. Uh, well, this is basically a not case. Howling Weird seems to be full of it. You know, full of not cases. I wonder if they uh, get them from the local uh, mental institutions. I don't know. She, Meryl Streep is one who definitely uh, is a candidate for a pan selling some crackers. I don't know. I might affect some hearts. Unreal. <laughs>
Oh, 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 oh,